Good evening. Yeah, this is just a quick message to uh, remind you to uh, basically enjoy Thanksgiving. This is uh, There's not going to be a lecture this week. We'll have more. We'll actually have a couple things going on the following weeks because uh, I'll be putting out a final kind of summation type thing, more of an extended lecture. And then also there will be a review for the final. So that will come in there. I'm not trying to uh, ruin your holidays, but the term papers um, – a lot of people are taking me up on the offer to send me a copy of the term paper, and everything's, you know, uh, good. I mean, it's I haven't had anybody who's really off on a on a tangent. Some people just send me an outline, which is fine. Other people send me a pretty much a finished product or a product that maybe just needs a little expanding on it. But you know, if you do that and you know take whatever guidance I got, I'm not saying you can't get a uh, you know full credit if you don't do it. But if you if you do, you you probably are going to get full credit for the paper which is kind of nice you know 100 percent basically so uh i know you know people i think spend more time worrying about the paper than actually writing the paper when they actually get into it it's not that hard i don't believe i mean it's hard to get started i understand that but again just to summarize the the variability of the paper it can be tailored to your specific circumstance and you know content um and, and you know, it really needs to be uh, four to five pages of, you know, full text. But other than that, the parameters are kind of wide open. And what this, again, you know, just think about it in terms of sort of a plan for for your financial future. And not, again, I don't need your personal details. And, and the thing is, for a lot of you that are, you know, haven't really engaged in your career yet, you don't have, you know, the fidelity to, to even guess, you know, well, you can guess where you're going to be, what you're going to be doing, but it's good to explore those sort of things, you know, and as I've talked about before, some people really, you know, think they're, they're all set for one career field and they find out now they're actually going to end up doing something else. It's not always about money, but sometimes it is. I know many are disappointed because I work with livestock and vets and all that kind of stuff all the time. I know a ton of vets who got into that, you know, field because they love animals and all that stuff, and they went to a ton of school, and they, you know, worked as hard as a doctor and all that, but then they're disappointed they don't get paid like a doctor. So the best time to figure that out is before you start that. And I'm not trying to dissuade any future veterinarians. God knows we need them. But, but anyway, I mean, just make sure you're, you're getting into something that you're, you're comfortable with. Uh, the other thing is, too, like in current events, this whole FTX cryptocurrency controversy thing, don't don't fall for whatever. They, you know, there are very many people and from government, from big banks, from whatever, that hate, you know, Bitcoin. They hate Ethereum. They hate all these coins that actually have some, some real value to it. And so they're trying to smear all of crypto that it's all, you know, filled with these scammers the only reason the uh whatever his name was was able to get as far as he did is because he was enabled by many of the people who see this as a way to take down crypto so you know like they say uh, you know a crisis is a horrible thing to waste and there will be people out there to take advantage of this and make you know consumers look like they all got duped again anytime you're investing if the returns are too good to be true they probably are but the power of crypto from a personal finance uh, standpoint, um, yeah, it could be part of your investment portfolio, especially in small measures. But this is really for these future generations, for your generation, to get some of that uh, autonomy, financial autonomy, back from the banks in terms of decentralized finance, in terms of smart contracts, in terms of all these things that will just open up a wide array of financial transactions that previously been held by you know a very select few in the elite that are stubbornly don't want to let it go and then the worst part about that is the central bank digital currency which I'm not a fan of I hope you're not a fan of either and this is this is sort of a you know a crypto variant held by the central banks and you talk about seeding control um, it it's one feature of this currency would be programmability so if they don't want a certain behavior um, they can just turn that off and anyway 
for me, you know, for example, I like to travel and, and being able to travel if, if, you know, somebody somewhere decided I had used up my carbon credits, I was no longer eligible to travel, they could effectively shut down your credit card and some nasty things like that. Obviously, it wouldn't apply to the to the uber rich because they can buy carbon trade offs. And anyway, not trying to get conspiratorial, but pay attention to the FTX controversy, and you'll realize that there's a lot more to it than than meets the eye. So, anyway, happy Thanksgiving, and uh, don't stress about the final. We'll have the big review beforehand. Uh, do think about getting that term paper or at least a draft kind of knocked out and send it to me if you want to assure yourself of a good grade or or you can wait I mean but again I've got a pretty wide aperture on on the papers um, as long as it looks like you know something that you put a little bit of time into and is going to be useful to you in terms of preparing for for the future because you're going to need it anyway talk to you soon